people, united, will never be defeated! Mason students are protesting the new executive orders instated by our new president, Donald Trump. And this specific executive order bans Muslims from seven predominantly Muslim countries. So I'm going to go ask some students what they think about this march and why they are marching. So let's go. Why are you protesting here today? I'm protesting because George Mason is such a diverse campus that it just makes sense. I'm not, I have no Muslim affiliation. I'm from Colombian descendancy, but my mom just left to go to Colombia to her pet dad passed away. So I thought, man, if my mom was going to like Syria or something, if she had all those rights, they, she would, wouldn't be able to come back for 90 days. And I think that's very shocking. So I think something has to be done. And that's why I'm protesting. Because I'm Muslim and my parents are immigrants. And I understand the struggle of being an immigrant and coming to this country. And not only do I stand for the Muslims, the seven countries who have been um, banned, I also stand for the wall and everyone who wants to come to this country for a better opportunity. I'm here to protest for um, refugees and immigrants because they need, they really do need our help. So I'm here to uh, I'm here to uh, to support them to know that they can come into uh, America safely. I'm protesting because I'm an American Muslim and I want to fight for what I believe in. And I feel like at Mason, with like such a diverse community, I'm really comfortable with doing that and expressing myself. We think it's important to speak out as uh, students and faculty against the Trump's recent travel ban. Um, it's caused a lot of grief for uh, our students, our community, and our faculty in terms of not uh, being certain about how they can travel in the future. And we just wanted to raise our voice and, and show our discontent. What are these demonstrations, marches around the country? You've seen them in Washington, D.C., all over um, you know, various cities, major cities in the U.S. What do they mean to you? What do they signify? They signify that everybody's different and we're all not going to just like shut up and sit down and let the world like 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 people tell us what to do. So I feel like like in D.C. and in Florida and like everywhere, like people are speaking their mind and I love that and I love being a part of that. I think it's just showing that the popular word won by three million. We're here, we're showing our voices and we don't want Trump as our president. Do you have any family members or anyone directly affected by this that you know? I don't have any family members, thankfully, that are like like affected by this but I do have family friends and they are affected by it so I feel for them. I actually have had friends affected by this. My friend's dad got approved to come to this country from Somalia but he's been held there and they don't know when he's coming so that's one of the reasons why I'm here today. My friend's mother went out of the country to go, to go to her father's funeral and they would not let her back in but I mean she's back now because she has a green card but um, yeah it's kind of crazy. It's a crazy time I guess. Do you think the country can get back up from this? Do you think we can move forward? I see this as a turning point and I think uh, you know that there's a lot of people who are scared there's going to be a lot of people who are suffering and we need to be uh, in solidarity with those people so I, we need to be not careful not to be too optimistic right now right we need to be serious and sober but at the same time I think we're at a crucial turning point where we can make some real change uh, finally I think uh, we saw this turn during the Occupy movement in 2011 and 2012 uh, and it's kind of stagnated ever since then and I think uh, this is a resurgence of that uh, on a whole new footing. I think doing exactly what we're doing right now, peaceful demonstrations, no violence, that's never the answer, but just keep on fighting because something is going to be done. So that was this episode of What's Up Mason. Don't forget to tweet us using the hashtag What's Up Mason. Let us know what you thought of this episode and also let us know what we should change or not change. Um, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, the Mason Cable YouTube channel right below if you want to be informed with everything that's going on here at the Mason Cable Network uh, family. and mason community so just subscribe be be involved be part of this community subscribe now thank you